Hey there everyone, I'm the Crap Gamer, and this is another crappy review. Where the games aren't always crappy, but the reviews usually are. Thanks for checking out one of my retro reviews. Today, we're going to take a look at Blinks the Time Sweeper for the original Xbox. I'm kind of in an original Xbox kind of mood lately, and this was a game that I remember playing years and years ago that was really, really fun. So after a bit of trouble, I found a copy and sat down to play through this bad boy. Blinks the Time Sweeper is a platformer at its core, and it was developed by Artoon and published by Microsoft. Now Artoon, sadly, is no longer a corporation, but Microsoft actually owns the IP. And there was a time early on in the original Xbox's life that a push was made for Blinks to be the Xbox brand mascot, which eventually went to Master Chief and Halo. I think the original idea was to have a mascot for everyone, whereas Master Chief and Halo are rated M, Blinks isn't. He's sort of like Mario or Crash Bandicoot, and that's what I think originally uh, Microsoft was after. In the game you play as, surprise surprise, Blinks. You are a time sweeper and you're tasked with trying to save Dimension B1Q64. You have your trusty vacuum cleaner, which sort of reminds me of Luigi's Mansion and how he utilized his vacuum cleaner. But this is no ordinary vacuum cleaner though. Blinks can control time itself with it. Dun dun dun! In the game, there are a series of temporal glitches, which can manifest themselves in the time monsters. When Blinks receives a message from a young princess trapped within the Doom Dimension, he grabs his Time Sweeper vacuum and dives into Dimension B1Q64 through the time portal moments before it closes. It's all very dramatic. It seems to me that the main crux to a lot of these types of video games are women in trouble, particularly princesses. You think a princess would have ample security, but then again, how many times has Princess Peach been kidnapped? Each level requires you to take care of a certain amount of enemies before a portal will open, and you can move on to the next level. At the end of a few of these, you have to fight a boss before moving on to the next sector. Blinks has six different time controls at his disposal. Five of these time controls are based on controls commonly found on VCRs, uh, which VCRs aren't even really around anymore, but you'll still understand them. It's like rewind, fast forward, pause, things like that. Retry is the only one found exclusively in the game that isn't on a VCR. I found the retry function to be very helpful because I died a lot in this game at first. And you can even see it in the playthrough that I did and recorded. Uh, I didn't want to just play through the parts where I did good. I originally, when I picked up the game, this was the first time I played the game in like seven years, and I wasn't very good at it. And it's pretty evident in the video. Now the graphics are pretty good, nice and colorful, the controls work well and the story is cute and quite a bit of fun. The sound effects really fit in well with the game and overall I have to say it's a nice title for the original Xbox. I was surprised that the graphics held up so well even by today's standards. That's the nice things about the original Xbox games. A lot of them were in HD and looked really good to begin with. Now if you're interested in Blinks the Time Sweeper, you can pick up a copy for under $10 on Amazon. And if you think this generation lacks innovative and fun platform games, this might be right up your alley. Just in case you were curious, this game is supported via backwards compatibility on the Xbox 360. So you don't even need an original Xbox, you can play it on the Xbox 360. Now the original Xbox was a console that joined the console fight late and left early. So a lot of the games that were released on it were, weren't huge hits, aside from Fable, Halo, and Forza, which are still popular and being made today. Blinks was a game that actually sold well and got a sequel on the original Xbox, but by then people were expecting the Xbox 360 and the next generation of consoles. There are a whole list of games that have yet to make it to this generation as Blinks is one of them. I guess Conquer Live and Reloaded would be the other that needs to see an updated release as well. Blinks is a fun and inventive game and offers a challenge and a pretty decent story. If you're into those things, then give it a try. You might really enjoy it. Blinks the Time Sweeper gets a retro review score of 4 out of 5. Please remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. Crap Gamer, out.